Hi, this is Leah with All Things Cookies. Let me just see if I can get this in the right place. I'm going to be drawing Snow White for you. It's a sneak peek at the set I'm working on. And hopefully I'm in the camera. It's really very hard to see it upside down right now. So let's just start with her eyes. And I took my glasses off. Why did I take my glasses off? Can't see a thing. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I have no idea. There they are. Goodness gracious. I didn't need my glasses to see the camera, but I needed my glasses to see the cookie. So, let's just draw the second eye. This is my very first Facebook Live. So, let's hope I don't mess it up. I'm making a set of cookies for my granddaughter's fifth birthday. And I am videotaping some parts of it. And I will be putting that on our Facebook group page when I get to it. Anyone who knows what a fifth birthday is like knows that time it's not a lot of thing, not a lot of uh, something I've got much of right now. I found a video on how to draw Disney princesses. And that's what I watched. I drew a couple of each. And then I went at the cookie. Am I still in the screen? Yes, I am. Good. This is hard to three. It's hard to do when you can't see the screen. One, two, three. Props to everyone else who does these videos. Wow. Maybe have a better setup. And you're probably thinking, how is she remembering how to do all this? Well, I am on my two four six cookie. And I have got a cheat sheet in front of me in case I need it. And the videos are very good. I think you're going to love the videos on how to do this. There we go. I am not going to color it right now, but I've got them all drawn. And would you like to see the rest of them? Let me see. Oh, I know they're all upside down. I forgot about that. There you go. Because the camera's upside down. I do apologize for that. So there you are. I've got a couple at the mid-range, and then I've got, I guess i got another one that's kind of zoom. It's almost like selfies and her zooming, her taking little selfies and zooming out. I really enjoy these little pictures. Shout out to Kim for making me these cookies. I really do appreciate you helping me out like this. Oh, look, I colored her tongue backwards. Well, that'll be an interesting one. I think that's the only one I've got backwards. Yes, it is. And this is my favorite of them. There you go. And I will be posting the rest of the stuff later at a later date. Have a great day. I do not know even how to turn this off. So this will be interesting. Because uh, it's in a holder. How on earth do you turn it off when it's in a holder? Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a button underneath a blue thing. Could it be under the button under the blue thing? Have a great day. Nope, it's not the button under the blue thing. It's the something on the something. And there's the word finish. Thanks. And have a... Oh, what brand marker am I using? That was a Copic coffee cake. Let me get it here. Coffee cake. But there's a whole bunch of other ones. There... You can't see if it's, held, it's in the camera. There's a whole bunch of other ones that are available. I know that one of the big brands, Wilton, also makes markers. And I just used the coffee cake because it was the biggest one that I had. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello. This is Leah with All Things Cookies. My very first video for cookie making. After all these years, I thought I might as well share with you how I'm doing my granddaughter's birthday cookies. I have already done 5, 10, oh, 7. I can't do math really well in my head. 21, 
two, 23, I believe, cookies already. I started with Ariel. And my cookies are about two and a half inches, as you can see there. So I started with Ariel. And I will provide a link in the description. I will not because I am not on YouTube. Very interesting. Uncertain how I will tell you where I got these, the ability to do this from. Okay, so then we started with Ariel. Then I did Cinderella. She's my favorite and easiest of the cookies. And this is what I did yesterday. And I think this morning, Aladdin. And then my next one to do, which I just figured out how to draw today, is Snow White. And there she is. It will be a challenge. Because I'm not... I think I like this one better. It's hard to say because it's not colored in. So I'm going to try to do this one and shrink it down onto this cookie here. So I'm going to put my picture in front of me so that I can figure out where I'm going with it. I've got a copy cake marker here using the finer tip. And let's see how we do this. Now, there was a video on how to draw these pictures. So that's what I did is I watched the video on how to draw these pictures. So I'm going to do the eyes first. I'm not worried about getting the whole body into this cookie. When I did the um, Cinderella ones, I did some with the whole body and then I did some that are close up. So I'm not too worried. It just, it'll go the way it's going to go. So let's start with an eye and another eye. Trying to keep them about the same. Now she's got an open mouth smile. Are you able to see it? Good. It's not too bad. Okay. Now I'm not giving you a demonstration on how to draw Snow White. All I'm doing is showing you how easy it is to decorate your cookies. And I've only practiced twice on each of the characters except for Cinderella. Once I got to her I just found it very easy to do. So I only did one. And I really am enjoying this type of drawing. I think it's very interesting. This is where I get tricky when it comes to her hair. She never did end up with any ears. I wonder where her ears are. I don't recall if they put ears on her in the video. Well, now we know. Maybe we should look for ears. Let me think what was next. Her bow. You know, you might think that you don't have the skills it takes to decorate cookies like this. I'm nobody special. I'm just somebody who watched a video and then went for it. This is just a square cookie. My friend Kim, who I will tag in this video, she's in our group as well, All Things Cookies. She made these cookies for me because my body doesn't work as well as it used to. And making cookies is really hard for me. Now, Cinderella has curly hair. So, one, two, three, and back in. Come down. One, two, three, and back in. I think I'm getting it right. It's hard to say. We shall find out. When she has parts of her dress come down. She has round puffy sleeves. So we'll put round puffy sleeves in there. She has arms come out. And then a V. And her skirt goes down. Now see, we don't have enough room for her feet, but that's okay. 
and then we will draw her cape. And I believe she's done. Still have to color. That's no big deal. We will add that to the video. So make sure my cookies are smooth before I start. Now, let's make her smaller if we can. And we'll go with uh, here. She's got a big up above her head. It's really big, so it's really tricky to get it in. There are basics to these drawings that have the same kind of repeated things. The eyes, the mouth, eyelashes. It's just to know the order that they all go in. And then just to do them. Now, next is the dome over the head. And the dot, and then you draw the hair coming down and over, down and over. The videos, oh my goodness, he's teaching a child how to draw these characters, so you can easily follow along, pause the video, and it's very simple. Now he did it right from the middle of the bow down to here, middle of the bow, down to here. Now the hair goes over. This is the first cookie I've sat down to do, so it's these cookies. So I've done all the rest standing up, drawing over top of my stove on a stack of these uh, stackable oh, cookie racks, drying racks. I don't remember what they're called right now, but that's okay. I often can't remember what anything's called. Puffy sleeves, little V, skirt going out, round it out at the bottom. Little shoes. Her arms now. She might have too long arms, but who cares? They're kids cookies. And we'll come down and in. Oh, I forgot to do her thing in her sleeve. Remember that Snow White it's got a little red thing inside her sleeve there because I've got the sleeves kind of... i got to pull the hair back a bit so I can get puffier sleeves here. You'll remember there's a little bit of a redness inside there. Did I remember everything? She looks really tall and skinny in this one. <sighs> They're not all going to be perfect and they don't need to be. It's not like some child's going to sit there and go, that one looks different than this one. That would be something you and I would do, looking at our own work. But that's not something that anyone receiving your cookies is going to do. And if they do, they can move on. Let's do a nice big close-up. In our Facebook group, I'm always encouraging you to just bake cookies for playing. I mean, what are you wasting? You're not wasting anything the money that it costs you to make the cookies, you know, your family can eat them. It, now we know it doesn't cost that much in supplies for a learning experience. And I did have Kim over. Hi Kim! I did have Kim over and we I showed her how easy I find it to paint on cookies. I did find it very easy. And I'm not even doing anything spectacular. There's some of you in this group that are just spectacular. But that's beyond me and my abilities, both physical and patience wise. Now 
I forgot how her hair is supposed to go. Let's hope that she's still recognizable. Now remember, we're getting more of a close up to her, so we got to make everything a little bigger. Yep. It's her little ribbon. And then we want to go start above here, kind of off, because I'm coming down for the hair. Now, three bumps, one, two, three, and let's make it come in a little closer if we can, so we can give her some sleeves, I hope. One, two, three, and then we'll just draw her body thinner. Make a nice big puffy sleeve. Everything's a little bit out of proportion, but hey, it's not like I'm trying to draw something that's in proportion. Look at that head. Now, oh, I forgot to do her neck. Okay, I gotta do her neck on this one. I knew there was something missing up there. And when I color that, I'll just have it coming off the off of the cookie. And I have one more to do. Um, I don't know. I like the close up. The close up is fun. The middle range is also fun. This one I find a little bit harder everything's smaller. I like that middle range one. They look like she's getting selfies taken, don't they? Let's go for a middle range one. So let's put that one where I can see it better. Right here. You see me start the same every time. Because it's just a matter of following the order, remembering what the order is. Eyelashes. Not everyone's perfect. Everyone has all the elements though. Now, hair. Remember the hair. Come down from here. Down and over. And it's down and over. I will be painting these. I hopefully will show that to you as well. But I have to work in segments. And I've got a lot of cookies to paint. And I can't sit down for all of that. So I will hopefully maybe show you one of each. This I just wanted to show to you how easy, and you can do this, okay? You can do this. Just watch the videos on how to do it. Draw it on your paper and practice a couple times. Then grab your cookies and just do it. How hard can it be? I'm doing it. Right? I feel if I can do it, then anybody should be able to do this. See, I really want the hair that way a little bit, a little, that, that way, so that I can get these sleeves in properly. I'm going to put these ones on the side of her sleeves. And her arms are going to come down. When I do the uh, coloring one, I will also include a snapshot of all the cookies. All done. There. A little, I think it's Kawai. K-A-W-A-I-I -I is how they spell it for this type of a shape of a head for the cookies. And my granddaughter's birthday party is going to be Disney princesses. And I threw in some Aladdins for the boys who are also coming to the party. I hope you like these cookies. I hope that you will continue to participate in our Facebook group. 
I am amazed by the cookies that you make. And you encourage so many people to just try new things. And that's all I'm hoping today. Pull out your marker, pull out your cookies, and draw. Have a great time, great day. This I'm not really going anywhere because the magic of video editing, I'm going to be right back. But for me, I'm leaving for a day or so. So I'll say goodbye right now, but it's not really goodbye. How about I say aloha? Hmm. That works. Well, anyways, till later. Hi, this is Leah from All Things Co Cards Cookies. This is Leah from All Things Cookies. Today I'm going to show you the painting of the Disney Princesses and Aladdin cookies. Now I've painted 24 already. I have four more to go. I saved these for you guys. So let's get started. Now and this is the worst setup ever for doing this, so it's going to be a little tricky for me. Let me just show you what I'm working with. This is my gel food coloring, which I made this uh, swatch out of. Uh, it's made out of watercolor paper, so it would hold up. And I made this so that I can tell in my watercolor case over here to the right, which I cannot show you, because otherwise I'm going to just have a disaster here. Um, it is over there. Let me just show you. Just, just trust me. And I've got this set A of Petal Crafts. Uh, it's called PetalCrafts.com. And I've got set A, and I've also got the Dazzler set. And that's where it's all shimmery and pearl-like, and this is just matte. So you, I put on here open flat because you do not want this to ever be opened when it's not absolutely flat because these fall out everywhere. Okay, so I have got this to work from, for my colors, and I'm going to start with all the skin tones on all these little people. So let's work with that first. I have a skin tone brush. This is a makeup brush I got from the dollar store. It's got some kind of Disney character on it, I don't know. So for Snow White, I think for most of them today, I'm just going to go, I'm getting tired, and we're right at the end, and these are due now. So you know what that's like, I'm sure. The petals dusty stuff does not seem to really pick up on the brushes when it's dry. You just have to constantly be reapplying onto your brush. As I said, this is not the ideal setup. This table is set up for my card making, not for my cookie crafting, because I usually do it standing up. And I did do the 24 standing up in the kitchen. I take three of these cooling racks Put them all on the top of my stove top, one on top of the other. They're stackable cooling racks. Brings it up nice and high. Get some rubber mats under my feet. And I can easily work on the stove top. Lots of room. I have a flat stove top. Okay, and then we'll do her neck and her arms. I'll be using also some copy cake. This one, the copy cake uh, markers, because there's some colors that are really tricky to work with. I don't. The yellow is really hard because it pulls the black marker off the cookie and makes it streak. So I had to go with um, the yellow marker. You can see that the, the actual brush has a lot of stuff in it, but it just doesn't seem to go translate onto the cookie. Okay, all her skin's done. We'll just move her over to the side, and we will do Cinderella's skin. Now for Cinderella, I think I gave her the same skin tone. The only one I had di really different was Aladdin. Because his skin's a little bit more sun-kissed than these girls are. Yes, it is exhausting to keep going back over there and get that 
You got that right. Oh, I gotta remember, she has gloves on, so she got just a little bit there. I'll put a link in the description. I don't even know where I'm gonna post this. I will include a link to the guy who teaches kids to draw these Disney princesses. And there's all kinds of things on there. He's taught people to draw, so you can find something on there that you like. And if you don't like just these guys. He teaches it nice and slow. You can follow along, pause your video, and then you can do it on the cookies if you want to. Just wipe off that pink a little. Okay, Little Mermaid, That I gave her a different type of a skin tone. A little bit different. Figured she's not out in the sunshine much, so she's going to have a bit of a different color. Although it is a slow moving color. No, I do not know which one of these colors I'm using. Play with them. I can't see the thing from the, where I am, the list, and I'm not going to stop. I have an order due. I'm sure you can look at your own if you want to do it. You see where my finger got in the black? That's yeah, always fun. The red paint should take care of that. <sighs> my shoulders start to ache from holding my arm up in the air like this. I'm gonna rest it on the cooling rack. There, how does she look? Is she getting done? Well, I think she looks okay. On to Aladdin. Aladdin is in the other set. I used, it's called Old Gold. Hey, I found one name. No, no, it's not the Old Gold, it's the, yeah, the Old Gold with a highlight of the 24 karat gold. Produces just a very nice sun-kissed color. His hair is going to be black, so I can go over that way a little bit without worrying too much. I don't have to stay in the lines. I think it's only Cinderella that you kind of have to stay in the lines because her hair is yellow. I forgot to put rosy cheeks on Ariel. I will get to her. I do have a, um, when I watched them on the videos, I did make my own color chart for these. There's a lot of bird song outside today. I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> a little bit of the darker gold. Bit of shading underneath his hair. And the rosy cheek is in the other one. For rosy cheek, petal pink. Can't, didn't get a chance to read any of the others. And keep in mind, I'm right at the end of 28 cookies. So, 
where I was taking so much care before. We are a little bit lax on that right now. We just want to get this done. You ever get like that when you're working on your projects? <laughs> okay, skin tone on everybody is done. Okay, let's put away the pastels for a little bit, whatever they are called. Now we got Little Mermaid. I know where you're... I gotta do your hair first. The hair is the beast. The hair. Ugh. These big, huge areas are the hardest to do. And I'm using Super Red for her hair. You can't see it, but I'm using my palette over here. Taking it down. Now. That's where I have to slow down. You don't want to drag the black out into the cookie. You can drag along the black, but don't drag it out onto the cookie. Because it will come with you. You can get close to it. But if you touch it, let it let the brush sit on it for any length of time and then move. It will drag. And you'll have a black thing coming out into your cookie. Fuzzy look. I'm shaking. I must be hungry. I'm going at this for a while. So you can see some of the black coming out there. <laughs> Didn't you say I wasn't in the camera? You could at least let me know. You know you'll let me know in the comments. But somebody could just speak up once in a while here while I'm doing it. It'd be great hard when you get engrossed in your project, you forget there's just one little spot that you have to stay in. Now I am no artist. So, I can do this. I'm pretty sure you can do this. You have to learn your brushes, what they do, because if you turn one, if you turn this brush, it goes from a flat brush to a pointy brush. I do recommend practicing. I spent about six months, maybe how much? Three months? Three months, I think, watercoloring to learn brushes and stuff. My whole goal was to bring it to cookies, and then I enjoyed it so much I didn't go back to cookies. It's a very weird thing. Why do I have a blob of water up there? I don't want that to fall on anyone. Am I in the camera? <laughs> kind of. Good enough. Hold your horses there, people. Hair done. Okay, she's got hair, and Snow White has got a red cape and a red headband. When I was doing this, of course, uh, before I would do all of Ariel's, all Snow White's. So keep in mind when you're doing this that you're going to want, there's red inside that little hole there, you're going to want to um, do it in a production line. You're not going to be jumping around between characters if you had to do multiple characters. It's so much easier just to do the other way. Production line. Okay. 
headband, right? Headband is next. On the other cookies, I did this with the marker, but I'm right here with the red, so I might as well just go for it. Hopefully, it's just as easy. It's very small, though. I'm using just the corner of this brush. It's picking up the black, so I'm going to go back in and clean up my red a bit. It's hard when you have no place to rest your arm. Am I in the camera? Kind of. Good enough. I've got three lights on today instead of my usual two. So we'll see how that goes. Sorry, it's hard to talk when you are doing this. I think I'm going to do the inside of her mouth as well. I accidentally colored her tongue instead of leaving the tongue. So we'll just go like that. Okay, so nobody else has red, so we will put the red away. Black, I think I'll do their hair now. Pull him out. It's wet again. And why is it green? That was a green, a brush I used for green. And I put it in my black. So, Ray, I need your help. Yep. Can you clean this water for me? Thank you. you mean just dump, it out? dump it out and put fresh. I'm just gonna wipe up my green over here. Because for some reason, I don't remember using that for green, but, oh well, all I'm doing is just trying to get it off like we do. I'm waiting for more water. And more water is going to appear, right? Thank you. Stop barking. Okay, let's see what we got. Sorry about the delay. Black is three over from the edge. When I first put my gel, uh, food gel, into my um, watercolor, my paint paint palette thing, I can't remember what it's called, I'm sorry, it's got pans in it. I got like a gazoodle of pans in here, I think it's 12, 24, 48 or something like that. So when I first put them in there, I didn't realize when it was dry that it still needed to stay flat. So if you ever put your gel into your pan, Make sure that you put a note on it to yourself. Oh, his hat needs to be red. That you need, it needs to stay flat and never to tilt it on its side. I tilted it on its side to store it and the black poured everywhere. I've got hardly any black in here now, but everybody else has had black visited. What a mess. Such a disappointing moment. And I forgot to do his hat red. Oh, the red's still there. I don't think I cleaned it. Let's just grab the red. Aladdin and Snow White have black hair. It's my granddaughter's fifth birthday, and she likes Disney princesses. How on earth to draw that? That was really the hardest thing for me to figure out. Once I found the guy who does the painting, the coloring and drawing, made it so much easier, and then I decided Aladdin should make an appearance, because there's going to be boys at the party, so he can come, too. The Snow White. Oh, everybody, take a deep breath in. When you get too much water on your brush, it'll start to bubble, 
on the um, cookie. Don't panic. Just pick up your brush a little bit and don't put so much pressure down. You can't always help it. When you're using other colors, you can go against the black, but you cannot repeatedly go against the black. If you go touch the black, that's it. Don't touch that spot again because now it's wet and will bleed. I'm using black, so I'm okay. Oh my goodness, my back. This is going to be a long video, I apologize. I don't like long videos myself, but there's four cookies to do fully, and I wanted to show you. I'm going as fast as I can. Am I in the camera? <laughs> so sorry. I don't know why I keep moving way far away from myself. a little muddy on her bow. I might touch that up with a red marker. You will forget what color everything is. Be careful. So make sure you've got yourself a um, thing, a cheat sheet close by. Right now, I don't remember what color those puffs are. It says they're blue on my cheat sheet. I decided with these cookies, rather than drawing their full bodies all the time, I would do some just close-ups. And I really like the close-ups better than the full bodies, even though you, d you miss some of their clothing. It makes it look like they're taking selfies, and I really think that's kind of cute. Some far away ones and some close up. Okay, I think that's it for black, right? Wow. Okay. Uh, Little Mermaid's dress, skirt, tail, fins, I don't know, her body. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Okay, just get a little bit of water there. A little bit over here. I mixed a couple of colors here to get this. This is an odd pink brush. These are the Wilton ones, the purple ones. And they're Wilton's paint brushes. They're pretty good, but they are a little odd. Let's add a little bit of green in there. like it to be a different color, different greens. Okay, she's the only one that has green. Purple, I need purple. Is this the purple one? I think it's the purple one. Let's get some water. Okay, there we go. Yep, it's purple. This one's electric purple. It's the color I chose. I did not have a purple marker, or this would have been done with a marker. Okay, she's all done. Okay, thank goodness. One done. One done. Okay, my back hurts. Okay, let's get that done. So let's put the purple into... Well, actually, his jacket is purple, isn't it? It's like a purpley blue. Close call. His belt is orange, and his pants I did yellow, I believe. Now, 
there's an orange over here. I have it just left over on my palette. This is one that will drag the black. Keep in mind, it will drag the black. Keep it dry. So you can see it dragging. So now you've seen an example of what not to do. Okay, we're going to need to pull out some orange. Where's the orange? There it is. Second one from the right. There we go. Now we're saturated in orange. Now I'm going to go towards it. Move it back. There we go. Okay. I like this brush. It's a nice little brush. Put it there in case we need it. I did try to put these little food things on all of my paint brushes, but they do not stick. Now I can make other things. Okay, let's do his pants. I think I did yellow. Get the yellow out. Now with the yellow marker, you have to constantly be careful. You can drag it across the black, but now it's going to have a black dot on it. So I take my paper towel and I just tap it. And you can see there, it um, goes on and then it goes away. Go drag it again, tap it, drag it, tap it. Okay, so he is done. Yay. Okay, now, this yellow hair, the worst thing. Okay, her hair is really hard to, uh, where, how to get the angle. I'm going to get as close as I can to it without touching it. Hmm, I think I touched it a little, so I'll just tap it off color on the inside, not the edge. I'm trying to get close, but I'm not touching. Okay, and over here. Oh, touched the edge and dragged it in by accident. It happens. You can always get it back out again, but if you go right across, it's really tricky. Okay. So now, clean marker. Going right in here, and I'm going to stick at the edge. Keep my thing the same distance from the edge. There. Those two are done. Come over here. Stay close. Try not to drag it from the end onto it like I did. Get close, but don't touch. Tap onto your paper towel. Tap. Here we go. Keep it the same. Equidistance onto that black. It's hard when you go back, so you can make a mistake when you go back, so try not to. Straight line, straight line straight line. Okay, here we go again. Oops, see, I caught the edge there. Let's push it back. Let's try not to touch the edge when we start. Don't touch the edge when you start. Just got to keep reminding myself. Turn it around. Let's do the other side. See the black? I don't know if you can. It's hard to say. But you guys just tap it off. Look at these edges here, and that's it. Okay, her hair is done. Was there any other yellow on Cinderella? I doubt it. Okay, so Snow White has got yellow. Her yellow is the skirt. Earlier it was my legs, now it's my back. Goodness. Okay, so here I go, touching the edge. Oops, I dragged it a little. Did not mean to. I apologize, Snow White. It's easier to go into a corner than it is to come out. There we go. Now blue for her, blue for Cinderella, and everybody else is done. Okay. Blue, blue. We got some mouths to do, though. Cinderella's little mouth. 
got a little pink marker. So I should put it down. A little pink marker. I don't know where I got these markers from. Michaels. I don't know who makes them so don't ask just look randomly for yourself sorry I don't know okay now I need a blue blue uh, I did not bring my blue okay so I've got the black Ray I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna go find see if I can find it I'll be right back okay. now what is she wearing that needs the blue I'm trying to remember her outfit I know her bandana needs it and her upper body of her dress and that's it this will bring the black so be careful someone uh, uh, said that there's a black that won't drag I posted it when I did a Facebook live on one of me painting and drawing one of these cookies they said that they've they they give me a link to a marker that won't drag. So if you're interested in a marker that won't drag, look on all things cookies. Look for the live video that I did on the drawing of one of these cookies, and see if you can find that link if you are interested. I don't do this often enough to make it worth my while. I'm happy enough with what I've got. Rose, look at that. Wow. This is not like a card video where I'm all off to the side. Okay, so that's it. And then we have Cinderella, not Cinderella, Snow White. She has a royal blue on her upper body and on her sleeves. I wonder if we could use a marker for her. I'm going to go get my, grab my, sorry, I don't have everything here. Like I said, I'm not really set up for this here. But I did want to show you the painting of my cookies. So that's why we're kind of here, kind of not there. So I usually work in the kitchen. Not my craft area. Okay, so I've got my uh, copy cake uh, marker. And it's a dark blue, so we'll just go with that. better for getting those tiny little areas too. Remember go towards the corners, don't come out from the corners. So you'll pull that black out. Okay, so that's done. She is now complete. Yay! Okay. Everybody's complete except for Cinderella now. Now Cinderella has um, up here on her arms. So I'm using my Columbine and powder blue pearl. Hmm. I can probably get away with the powder blue one. It's her bottom, bottom part of her skirt. I use the Columbine one. It's a strange name for powder. So did her earrings in the Columbine. You can see that I went over there for her ear. And there's a little bit of blue over there. So why don't we clean that up? I've got a clean paintbrush over here. Two of them. Let's see what we got. Uh, this one's a little bit more stiffer and more precise, so let's go with that. Wet that and take off most of the water there. And let's just go paint a little bit. It's similar to watercoloring. You can put the water on and it takes the color off. So let's go around here. 
Now here we cannot touch that black. Okay, no touchy the black layer. Don't move it. Just put it back. Touch the black, but let's move it back into it. There we go. Okay, so we took off the blue, mostly over in that corner. Everybody else looks clean and dandy. And I think I am done. Now my husband can take these and deliver them. Shall we take a look at the set? Let's move this plate. I work on a uh, Corel plate. Turn it upside down with a little piece of wax paper. And my other camera turned off, so all we've got is this little one here. So we are going to turn them so you can see them then. The other camera's gone. So there's Cinderella, all complete and ready for the ball. Here's Ariel, waiting to become human. Here is Snow White. I can't tell what stage she's at, but she's taking selfies and not sorry about it. And here's Aladdin before you became a prince. I think you became a prince. You know, it's been so many years since my kids saw that video. I don't remember anything. <sighs> I will take a picture of all four and I will post those as well. Thank you so much for watching.